He just gets his stopwatches going, puts the whistle in his mouth, and we are set to get underway in the championship, and we are underway. Sheffield Wednesday's trip here to take on Preston North End in what is a big game for Wednesday as they look to continue a fantastic run of form and look to try and close the gap on the top two and the automatic promotion places. And that's something certainly that you think, John, is also there to be gone out this season. Uh, I do. And, uh, I mean, the, the way we're playing, the results we're getting, and, you know, I just believe that, that we've got the, the players and, you know, the mentality t to be able to get there, you know. But uh, if we are, and uh, I think this is a game that we need to win. Sheffield Wednesday currently have possession with... The left-sided fullback Padil, and he loses out possession there. It just ricochets around. Fernando Forestieri comes back to win it, and he'll receive a free kick deep inside his own half. You know, but uh, he's playing full of confidence. You know, in, uh, Carlos has said he's, he's uh, started the season off with that knee injury, but uh, he seems to seems to be okay now. And he told us only this week, did Vincent Sasso, he would be open to a long-term move. He's obviously on loan at the minute from Sporting Braga, but the Frenchman would be open to a permanent move to Sheffield Wednesday, who have it Great on the left-hand side. Lovely ball by Forestieri there. He's found Pudil. He'll knock it into the area to the penalty spot, and Preston are just going to clear this one away. It did fall out kindly for them, but trying to win it back, Forestieri couldn't do so, and the skipper there, Tom Clark, lashes it downfield. The race is on here. Jack Superb. Hunt wins that race and nods it back into the palms of Kieran Westwood, who just throws it back out to Hunt on this near side. Right down below us, we're at the back of the stand here. If you haven't been to Deepdale for four even stands all the same height the corners are open here but it is a good noise inside the ground it does contain the noise very well as Jack Hunt takes the throw in and gives it to Wallace Wallace plays it to Bannon and the fair-haired midfielder finds Wallace once again he's just stood in his place here by Joe Garner and with three goals this season He's leading the line for Preston today. Across field it comes, all looking for Padil, and he will knock it into the path of Forestieri. area. Up against Clark here, left-hand side, heading towards the corner flag, which is where the tunnel is in that far corner, and it's just played out by Clark and goes out for another attacking throw, John. Well, it's all Wednesday at the moment, all the possession, Preston barely getting a kick. There was just that long diagonal ball there that uh, Jack Hunt did superbly to head it back to Kieran Westwood. Here's Barry Bannon looking into the area, puts it in there looking for Ati Nuiu. The header is won by Huntington and then, oh, Johnson's just lost the ball there, comes back for Hooper. It might bounce into the area here. It's going to be chased by Nuiu. He gets a foot to it, keeps it in play, appeals for a handball Ooh, against him. Given. And they're given there, so it will be a free kick inside their own penalty area for Preston North End here. And it's been a fairly even start, you would say, but Sheffield Wednesday probably just about shading this, John. Yeah, I thought the uh, first four or five minutes we had all the possession. Uh, Preston just having a little bit more possession. We're just giving it that ball away there, Jack Hunt. Yeah, Hunt's giving it away sloppily to Johnson in the middle, and then he plays it out to the left-hand side. Ball all the way across here towards the back post. It's going to be played, oh, nearly into the bottom corner. Flashed across the face there. It was Callum Woods who met it. It came all the way across goal. He hit it with his right boot and sent it back where it came from. Westwood could only watch it as it whistled wide of his uprights. Huntington, who now has the ball, he's a few inches taller than him, and now it's with Gallagher. Gallagher looks downfield and plays it out towards Garner. Garner leaves it for Cunningham, and then Garner does get the second header and finds Cunningham. He nods it back in towards the feet of Garner. Garner might go for goal here. He will go for goal here. It's a good hit. It's straight at Westwood, though. He'll hold on to it comfortably. He's scored from that sort of range before as Garner. He's not shy of a spectacular effort. 0-0, corner kick after 23 minutes to be taken by Gallagher for Preston. In it comes. The header down falls to the edge of the area. Reach will go for goal. Oh, and it's just wide. It was some hit that, from this angle here, hard to tell where it was going to end up. Okay. But fortunately for Sheffield Wednesday, it ended up with their fans behind the goal there. Not a bad hit by the on-loan Borough man. Bannon looks downfield. <coughs> bounces through here, but it's brought under control by Huntington, who steps out of that back line. The sliding tackle comes in from Nui The referee says, go on for the first tackle, but the second tackle by Forestieri is one too many, says the ref. Yeah, I think that's a free kick. That's he went down with a slide tackle. Which is where the crowd of bodies is. In it comes then, towards that near post. The header is won and it's saved by Westwood. A fantastic save, sprawling yeah. to his right-hand side to turn it behind and keep Sheffield Wednesday all square with Preston. Wonderful ball in, great powerful header and a fantastic save by Westwood, 0-0. But it's a free kick to Preston inside their own half, which Gallagher takes up to the edge of the area. It's oh, bounced through into the area, Clark with the shot and it was a centre-half's finish. He somehow got in behind the back line and he just drills it wide from all of eight yards out and he knows, does Clark, that he should have put his side ahead there. Sheffield Wednesday <laughs> live to fight another day. Half an hour gone, nil-nil. Not good news on A.D. White then. We will get an update on that one, obviously, after today's game. It's been given away here by Preston to Fernando Forestieri. He plays into the feet of Hooper. It runs 
now through for Lee and now into the area for Nui he plays it back across square all he needed was a toe on it to take it towards goal and it wasn't from a blue shirt it was from a white shirt that cleared it away and it sent all the way downfield for Westwood to hold on to here is Hooper with the ball in his own half plays it into the centre circle for Wallace who just pokes it out to that left flank for Forestieri he now darts forwards and then he'll knock it into Nui who can't control it just loops it forwards headed away by Clark as far as Bannon and Bannon knocks it down here to find oh, oh Lee that's a booking. high and late there it was a sliding tackle that came in there from Callum Woods. Callum Woods the winger here is Bannon then looking to put this one in there left footed delivery in it comes it's a high one it's towards oh, the back post no. the header by Lee just couldn't meet it Tom Lees inches away from his head and all he had to do was knock it towards goal and from all of six yards out the deadlock would have been broken no doubt however Tom Lees couldn't do so couldn't get his third goal of the season it remains 0-0 He's got reaching support, and that's where it goes. Two white shirts in the penalty area here for Preston. Can they put it in there? It comes back towards Johnson. Johnson now to Gallagher. Johnson again on the left-hand side. He is looking to put it into the box, and it comes towards that near post. Hasn't been cleared away at the first time of asking. He's finally cleared as far as Hooper. The counter-attack is on here with Forestieri. It's three on three. Forestieri to the edge of the area. Into Nuihu. He gets body checked in the process. The referee says that will be a yellow card for a oh. dive by Fernando Forestieri. He is furious. Arguing with the referee still. Walks away. He goes in the book quickly and finds a teammate in Adam Reach. And then Reach will float one in towards the back post. Out comes Westwood. Well oh, excellent Super. take there. That was a wonderful take. Big left hand to get a hold of it and then grasped it with both hands because waiting to head that one home once again was Ghana. And now Forestieri plays it out towards that far side. New wins a header down for Hooper. Touch from him, lays it up for himself. The tackle comes in on Hooper. He manages to pick out Bannon, who threads it back into the edge of the area. Hooper now plays it square. No one taking the gamble inside the six yard box. All the way across for Wallace. Wallace swings it back in there. Up goes the header from New He got in the way of Hunt and then it's cleared away. And in the end, the chance will fall out on that far side and will be half cleared away. Wednesday have it, though. Still in an attacking position here. In it comes to Hooper. Down goes Bannon. That will be a free kick to the Owls on the far side of the ground. Nil-nil as Wallace stands this one up there. It's straight towards the back oh! post. And it could be almost turned towards goal. However, the goalkeeper comes and holds on to it. The second time of asking. Sasso stretching with an outstretched left leg. Here is the free kick for Sheffield Wednesday then. In it comes, towards the edge of the six-yard box. Up goes New Year with the header, still not cleared away. A big swung leg there from Lees, headed down on the edge of the box now. Might fall for Forestieri, touching a strike through a forest of legs. Oh, and then no. over the crossbar. Who's that? It was a good opportunity for Sheffield Wednesday. It's Daniel Padil who's blazed it over the bar on the hour mark. And Wednesday turning out. the screw on Preston North End. As Hunt sends it forwards and headed away by Huntington. And then... Nodded forwards there by Tom Lees. Flicked on by Forestieri. Let well there. Finds Kieran Lee. Lee out towards Nuiu on the left-hand side. The big striker gets into the area. A couple of step-overs from him. Drills it across the face. Oh! oh and then Forestieri was in there. Peels for a handball. And they're against Fernando Forestieri, yeah, who's they're, already they're, been booked here. Gonna, Fernando Forestieri off. is off. He leapt in the middle. And he did seem to lead with an arm. He caught the ball with the arm as it went through. The ball did go all the way through the six-yard box. The Preston players instantly surrounded Fernando Forestieri and the referee. And the referee, no hesitation there. So he's been booked for a dive and a handball in the area, Fernando Forestieri. He'll have it, he'll turn on it. And he's just closed down, played back towards Bailey Wright. And right then to Cunningham. Cunningham with a few touches inside to Wright. Wright has it. He's got a pocket of space as well. He'll float it up towards this near side where Reach brings it under control. He then plays it to the right-hand side where it comes back towards Reach. Reach floats it in there. It's towards Garner, but headed away by Tom Lees. Comes down for Gallagher. First time ball to find Woods on the right-hand side is a nice one. Woods puts in a left-footed ball. Dangerous ball to back post. Garner is there, and the goal is there. And Preston take the lead just a couple of minutes after finding themselves with a man to the good after Fernando Forestieri was sent off. Dangerous ball in from this near side. And Garner, who was threatened with a couple of headers in the game, finally buries one in the back of the net. It is Preston North End 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0. A few moments time, Marco Matthias will come onto the field as Westwood tries to pick out Padil on this near side. But Clark has won every header today. He's played really well as a centre-half, you'd have to say, for Preston North End. 
That's a nice little ball. Plays one over the top looking here for Hooper inside the area. Hooper gets it under control. Knocks it square for Joao. Oh. What a tackle that is by Clark. Joao was racing onto it, ready to smash it home from eight yards out. And Clark somehow got his toes to it and took it away from the Portuguese front man. And Sheffield Wednesday just having to stand and watch this free kick be taken short now. Then they'll chase it down and they'll try and clear it away. They won't do. Hugo still has it here. Hugo will play it backwards and Preston North end keeping possession. Into the air it comes to Dan Johnson. He's onside here. Johnson inside the box to finish it. Lays it back for Pearson to strike. Wide of the uprights. Hit it on the inside of his right boot and it trickles past Kieran Westwood's goal. Up against Barry Bannon. Real difference in height there. Hugo a lanky striker and Bannon a short midfielder and it's out towards the left-hand corner flag where the tunnel is. The referee's checked his watch and he'll look to his whistle and he does blow the full-time whistle and Sheffield Wednesday have been beaten for the first time in 2016. They had Fernando Forestieri sent off for two bookable offences and then just two minutes later found themselves a goal down. Garner with the header.